it seemed, that the social media application Twitter was about to implode over the weekend. As posts containing the hashtag Trudeau must go flooded the airways. If you ventured, on Twitter, people were posting their pictures with paragraphs about their lives, and their disgust for Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. The hashtag trended worldwide as people took to social media to declare their displeasure with Trudeau for calling them extremist or misogynistic if they refused to take the COVID-19 vaccine, or if they expressed disagreement with his liberal policies. The Trudeau must go hashtag went viral, on September 15, 2022. Ranking as the number one hashtag in the politics category, with 153,000 tweets. The trend was apparently started by Twitter user Marty up north, who first posted his story, on September 13. That post has since received over 23k likes. But not everybody, on Twitter was convinced that the hashtag was legitimate. Many suggested, that bots were being used to post tweets, and artificially inflate the number of likes, and retweets. Fake bots helped to popularize anti-Prime Minister messaging, on Twitter, Dave Salisbury from the University of Dayton told CTV News in one report. Gerald Butts, former Principal Secretary to Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, claimed it just had to be the result of some vast right-wing conspiracy. I don't doubt Marty is real. I don't doubt, that he believes he started this thing. Which started, in the US days before he thinks he started it. Sadly, he is being used. By whom, Butts tweeted. Twitter removed the mega viral hashtag Trudeau must go hashtag from the trending section after, days of being there, one Twitter user said. Yoel Roth, Twitter's head of site integrity, told CTV News that the company's initial investigations into the hashtag Trudeau must go hashtag have found no evidence of substantial bot activity amplifying the hashtag. Despite multiple researchers continuing to voice concerns about potential hashtag manipulation, our initial investigations have not found substantial bot activity amplifying the cited hashtag, Roth added. Although some blamed Russia and bots for the hashtag on Twitter, one of the first real people to share the message hashtag Trudeau must go, in Canada was former NHL player and Olympic gold medalist Theo Fleury. The fringe just became the majority again, Fleury tweeted, on Monday. Over the weekend, Fleury said, on Twitter, freedom of speech is a wonderful thing. However, the hashtag was eventually removed from the trending list, on Twitter and new trending hashtag a stand with Trudeau took its place. UCP leadership candidate Danielle Smith also posted a message to Trudeau on Twitter using the hashtag I'm an educated and independent woman running to be Premier of Alberta. But because I believe no Canadian should be discriminated against for refusing a COVID vaccine. According to at Justin Trudeau M.A., misogynist with unacceptable views, that must be dealt with hashtag Trudeau must go, Smith said, on Twitter. Perhaps he'll have to deal with me sooner than he thinks.